to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Thank you for the love, for the support. I actually, I really, really appreciate each and every one of you that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. I actually don't take it for granted. Thank you so much. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing another beginner's tutorial. So most um of the video, so once I name them beginner's tutorials, I'm going to try as much as possible to make that video very simple and easy so that as a beginner wants to try out the pattern, it will work for you. So that's what I try to do in this series of creating more of beginner's videos. So in today's um, beginner's video, I'm going to be showing you how to actually cut a six pieces skirt. So I'm going to be using a different pattern to cut this skirt. So it's going to be very simple and easy. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. If you are new to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel, this is the first time of you coming across Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. I would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also to get an update whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so if you want to register for my online classes so you can see my number scrolling through the screen, just send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll give you the details of the classes that we have available. We have the padded. Igbo Madam Blouse class. We have a ready to wear class for those of you that want to go into a ready to wear business to sew Ankara dresses and sell online. We have that class. We have a corset class for you to know how to sew a perfect corset. We have an advanced class for people that can sew already that want to just ace up their game. And then we have a trouser and a jumpsuit class. We have an intermediate class. And then we also have a beginner's class so you just send me a message and then i'll give you the details okay now so let's get started so i'm going to fold my pattern and then show you how to draft it is a very simple process seriously i assure you that okay so before i continue i'm going to uh, do some little explanation so that you understand very well so i have some couple of lines i just made some lines so i'm going to explain the lines to you as i go along Okay, so the first line that I have here, this is my waistline. So this is the pattern I'm going to use as my waist. And then from the waist to the hip, it's usually between 9 and 10 inches. You can use 9 inches, you can use 10 inches. And then the next line that I have here is my knee line. So I'm using 19 and a half inches for my knee. And then I have the full length of my skirt, which is 40. Four inches. So I'm going to explain. So when cutting a six pieces skirt, we are going to make use of this pattern. The first part that we're going to cut out of the skirt is the center piece. You know, the skirt is divided into six. You have three pieces for the front and then three for the back. But the back, the center back is going to have a slit so to make it like four pieces, but it's still six pieces. So the first thing that we're going to cut out now is the center piece of our skirt. So I'm going to explain. So for this center piece, you are going to be the one to determine how wide you actually want it to be if you are making use of this pattern. So the measurements that I'm making use of for this skirt is the, the waist measurement. For the waist, I'm making use of 32 inches for my waist. And then the hip, I'm making use of 40 inches. And then for the down part of your skirt, you are the one that is going to determine that. So when we get to that part, we we'll determine it together. So let's just work with these two basic measurements first. So when cutting the center piece, the center part of, of the skirt, that's the middle pieces. When cutting it, you are going to determine however you want it, how wide you want it. Some patterns, you can decide to use your bust span measurement, which is your nipple to nipple, which is like 8 inches like this. So because your pattern is folded into two, so you fold into two, you are going to make use of four inches. You understand? So that is just like the very simple way of doing this sketch. You can use your, as in that's your nipple to nipple measurement to fold the center, just like your dart, the center part of your skirt. I'm trying to talk so much because I want all beginners to really understand this pattern. So you are going to come to this waist part because we are making use of 8 inches which is my own nipple to nipple. So the pattern is divided into two. I'm going to come to this point now, this top part now. I'm going to mark 4 inches here like this. You understand? So this is 4 inches. So you can actually look at it as in, so this is how the center of my skirt is going to be. That's the center pieces. If you think it's okay, fine. If you feel it's too wide, you can reduce that. Okay? So that's my four inches and then I'm going to come to the waistline. So this is our, sorry, the hip line. This is the hip line. This is the knee line. This is waist. 
So I'm going to come to the hip line also, that four inches that I measured here, I'm going to bring it back. I'll put it here also. So for this kind of skirt, there's something I normally do for mine. I usually, when it comes to the neck part, I usually don't use the same four inches for my knee because like when I did the fish skirt, you'll notice that around the nail part, if you want this skirt to really have that fitting, the nail part, you, you are going to make the nail part a little bit slimmer so that the, 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 the curve, do you understand? So it comes, the angle comes out beautifully well. So because of that, I usually don't use the same 4 inches, 4 inches I use here. I usually reduce on my knee line. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reduce it with just half of an inch. Why? Because I just want to form a beautiful curve. Because if I, I'm going to explain it to you, I'm going to show you. So this is three and a half. So I reduce it by one inch, by half of an inch. I beg your pardon. This is half. And then this is the four inch. We're going to mark all of them together. So you are going to see. So I'm going to use dotted lines. So I'm going to come like this. So if I'm going to use 4 inches, so you see the line, the line is straight, that's if I'm making use of 4 inches, that's 4 inches line. But if I'm not making use of 4 inches, if I'm making, if I'm reducing it, so once I get to this part, I'm just going to start tilting my hands towards this part. So you see, that I have like a, a, a shape here, which is not the regular straight shape. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start marking this. So this line usually is not like a very sharp straight line. It's not a very sharp straight line. So you see what I have now. So you can see that it has like a curve here. So that's what I want you to note now. So it has like a curve. So once we get to the down part of our pattern, you are, for the down part, you are the one that is going to determine how wide the down part of your skirt is. So it depends on how wide it is. That is what will create the flowing effect of your skirt, you understand? So for, for mine, you can decide to make use of 10 inches. Remember that your pattern is folded into two. So if you are making use of 10 inches, that means it's going to be 20 inches. So what I normally advise is for you to open it up like this and see, this is going to be the, the, the center of my skirt, the down part of the center of my skirt. Am I okay? Am I comfortable with this width? If you feel it is too small, you can increase it. If you feel it is too wide, you can reduce it. So that is what I normally do. So for this, for the sake of this class, we're going to make it of 10 inches. So let's just make it of 10 inches. So 10 inches is going to be here like this. So what you are going to do, after marking the 10 inches, you are just going to take, you see it is a simple process, like I said, you are just going to take your pattern like this and then you use your angle make sure it connects straight to the nail line and then you give it a beautiful slant like this so you can see the slope so i'm just going to place it so you can see the center part of our skirt so you see what i'm saying it's not really straight and then it comes out this way okay i'm just so excited because <laughs> most times when i cut this skirt i'm just so excited because they are always very beautiful once you have the trick it is not a big or a difficult process so we are done, so we are going to cut out, so we are going to just write down our dimensions so that we will not forget. So we know that this part would make use of 4 inches and then here is 3.5 and here, here is 4 inches and here is 10 inches. Okay, so just put them down so we will not forget. So I am going to cut out now. Okay, so I am going to open it up. Let's see. A beauty that we've got in here so you can see the center part of our skirt can't, can't you see how beautiful it is looking you can see how beautiful she is looking okay so now what we are going to do now these pieces you are going to use these pieces to cut out the back pieces because this, this is a beginner's video i'm just going to explain it if not i'm just going to say it with my mouth and just move on so because it is a beginner's video what when you want to cut out the back piece here is what you are going to do. You are going to take the pattern like this and then you are going to place it like this to cut out the back piece. You are just going to place it like this and then you are going to cut. So the back piece, I'm just folding it into one because I don't have enough pattern paper. So make sure that what you have here, this is going to be your zipper allowance, you understand? So I'm just going to cut it out like this. Okay, 
So this is the back piece now. So the only thing you're just going to put your notch for your for your dad. So that's so you are going to have two pieces. You understand? You're going to have two pieces for the back. So this is the back, the center back. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to cut out the side, the other remaining two sides of our skirt. So I want you to take note how this is being done. This is a very simple process, like I said. So this is our center piece for our, so the side, the back side and the front side, they are going to be cut the same. You are not going to add any zipper allowance. The zipper allowance, we already took that out from the center piece of our back. So the other part, you are going to cut out four pieces. That's one on the right, one on the left of the front, one on the right of the back, and one on the left of the back. So in cutting this, here is what we are going to do. So this is our pattern, our first pattern. I'm going to take it like this. I'm going to pin to this part like this. I think I should make use of my pin. Okay, so I'm going to pin them down. It is a very simple process. So I'm just going to take this like this. I'll pin it here. So why I'm doing this is because I want to have the shape on the side. I want the sides, I want them to be the same shape because if you don't get it right, your skirt is not going to form properly. So this part, this um, fold here, you don't, you don't have a problem. You can just leave it that way. It's actually negligible. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to mark, I'm going to create out this shape here. So you can make use of your pattern curve, or you can just use your chalk if you are making use of fabric directly. So just do this. Because you know this side is going to stitch to this side, so you need them to be the same, or else your skirt is not going to be straight, it's going to be undulating, okay? So that's the essence. So now we're going to in extend our lines back. Okay, so you remember the measurement that we're making use of? So I'm making so the 32. So now we're going to insert our full measurement now. Okay. So for the waist, we're making use of 32 inches. So we divide 32 into 4. Here's what you are going to have. I always like doing this. You are going to have 8 inches. So for those of you that are mathematics friendly, you can just fold your tape. So you are going to take, so you know you already have four inches here so you have to put that into consideration so you are going to take this now and then you are going to place it like this you understand so this is the full length the full your full skirt measurement your full skirt measurement so you are going to measure so that's 432 when you divide into four you are going to have eight inches here you are going to add your eight inches and then because of the cut you are going to add allowance teaching allowance you know all of these tiny tiny pieces you're going to add like half of an inch here that you're going to use to stitch this one that's the side side to reach which is one inch half inch on one side half inch on one side which is one inch that gives you nine inches and then you can add like half of an inch as your normal stitching allowance just to be sure just add it that way or for this um, side ones, you can decide to do quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, depends on how many inches you are going to use to stitch. You understand? So that's what you put in mind while doing this. So you don't do one shot of your fabric. So if you are going to use, you know it's going to be open, you are going to stitch. So if you are using half, half of an inch, make sure you include that one inch on your pattern. But if you are using quarter of an inch, make sure you include that half inch on your pattern. And then add your normal regular stitching allowance. So that is why I have this. So this is the my normal regular waist measurement and then this is my allowance and then my my allowance to stitch my pieces my six pieces and then my regular allowance okay so from this point i'm just going to mark this and then i'm going to come to my hip line now so for your hip my hip measurement is 40 you divide 40 into four i'm going to have 10 so i'll place the tip like this i'm going to have 10 inches and then remember this, the inches that we're going to use to join the side side to it. You add it to it and then you add your regular 
stitching allowance. So from this part like this, I'm just going to do this. Okay. And then we'll come back to the knee measurement. So for the knee measurement, like I normally say in most of my videos, always measure your round knee measurement. Or if you don't want to do that, you can reduce your hip measurement by two inches. You understand what you have here? You're just going to replace it here. And then you reduce it by as much as two inches like this. So I'm just going to double check. Okay. And then from this point, you're going to do this. You see how I'm covering it down? So you can see the shape of our skirt is forming already. It is a very simple process like I normally say. It is a simple process. So the next measurement we are going to measure now is the down part of our skirt. You know initially we used 10 inches for this center. So for the side, you can decide to repeat your 10 inches or you can decide to increase it. But I would really not advise for you to reduce it that much. So because that's what will give flow to your skirt. So for this down part, what I'm going to do on my, you know, we use 10 inches in each side. So now once we want to measure now, it's going to be about 20 inches. So I'm going to increase it. I'm not going to reduce it. So here's what I'm just going to do. I'm going to take like this or I'm just going to ignore that part. Okay, no, let me just do it so it will not be confusing. So what I have here from here to here, I have it by 11 inches. So on this part, if I'm repeating it, I'm going to have 22 inches. So I'm going to add as much as an extra two inches because I want my skirt to flow very well. If you don't have enough of fabric, I will not advise for you to do this. You can just replicate what you have here in the center and then you are good to go. And I'm just going to mark this point like this. And then I will use my pattern, sorry, my... Then I'm going to do this. And then for the down part of my skirt, I'm going to curve the down part of my skirt. So in curving, I'm just going to do this. I'll come up by two inches like this. And then from these two inches, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to slope it into this point to meet back with this point. So this gives it that curve. So you see, it is a simple process of drafting or cutting a skirt, a six pieces skirt. So make sure you blend all of your sharp edges. So we're good to go. I'm going to cut this out right now. So this center piece that we that we did earlier, I'm going to you follow just follow the exact shape and then cut it out. Okay, so I'm going to open it up now. So these pieces, you are going to cut out four pieces of this. So this two is going to be for this front and then you cut out another two that is going to be for the back pieces. So I'm going to open up my pattern now so you see the skirt, how it is looking. Okay, so at the end of the day, so you can see how beautiful our six pieces skirt is looking. So you can see this side, so I'm just trying to raise it so you can, the camera can capture every aspect of it so you can see. So you see the center part, so you see the shape is looking beautiful already so like i said all you have to do is cut out another two pieces and then when you are stitching you actually start stitching from the top it's very simple just take them together like this when you want to stitch right side this is the right side right side facing right side and then you just stitch so because of the shape because you know we've already formed out the shape so you see how it enters perfectly well so that is why you make sure that this side you are going to make sure it is well formed and framed so with that so once you stitch your skirt is going to come out beautifully well so thank you so much for this um, video if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up like this video share this video with your friends and you can also follow me on all of my social media platforms all at stylish Ninja, facebook pinterest instagram all at stylish Ninja. thank you so much you can drop a question on the comment section if you have any question that you want to ask me so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video god bless you have a blessed week ahead.